Good morning. Morning, morning. Morning, Janet. Morning, Lorraine. Morning, Carol. Hope you're all okay. Facebook didn't want to let me in this morning. Lorraine's ready to ride here. Oh, I don't know about that, Lorraine. <laughs> Good morning. Apologies, I'm a little bit late, Chris, but just didn't want me to log. Well, I don't know what it was doing. I had the same issue with Zoom yesterday. I think sometimes they just get a bit, I suppose it's a bit like us, they just get a bit overwhelmed, don't they? But um, yesterday morning for my Zumba was a complete and utter disaster. But for, um, I kept trying to go live and it wouldn't let me, so I've just come out again, logged back in, and it's worked. So there we go. Right then, so good morning. Hope you are all feeling okay. Um, hope nobody's got any injuries or anything like that. We are going to be doing our low intensity interval training this morning. We're going to be doing every minute on the minute, okay? So basically that means that we're going to do um, five blocks of one minute non-stop and then you get a 60 second rest and then we'll go again, okay? Don't worry, it's not as uh, crazy or as evil as it sounds. We're gonna alternate between some cardio and resistance, but it just means it's a bit more of an effective use of the time, okay? We really make the most of all the time. Morning, Mick and Norm. Carol, I haven't watched it, right? Can you believe that I forgot? So I was gonna, I forgot to watch it Sunday, and then yesterday, I did my classes and I was like, right, I'm going to go home. I decided what I was going to have for what we were going to have for tea. I'd like got the chicken out to defrost in the fridge. Got home, the chicken hadn't defrosted, so I was just like, Argh. so I had to cook something else. And I forgot the wolves were playing, didn't I? So I didn't watch it. So I'm going to try and watch it tonight. But I, um, some I think I read somebody said that there's going to be another series. So I'm presuming that doesn't give you all the answers. So yeah, sometimes. I like it if it's going to be another series, but then other times I wish that we'd just have like one series, you know, all the answers and that's it. So, yeah. Oh, right, okay, okay, right then. Look forward to it. Right, okay then, let's get going. So, chair if you want it, set of dumbbells, your tins, bottles of water, whatever, and some space. Make sure you're good to go, you're not going to get too hot and you've got a drink team. Oh, I look forward to watching it then, Carol. Dumbbells. 
here we go. So we're gonna squat down, punch, 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 punch. If you struggle with the squat, just stand and do it. So chest press, if you're seated, you're just gonna seat, uh, stay seated and do that chest press. If you're happy to though, into that squat. Remember weight through the heels, upper back nice and flat. Carol can't wait for line of duty, neither can I. I'm definitely going to make sure I watch those ones live. Come on. Doesn't matter if it's BBC, does it? Because you don't mind, because you haven't got to sit through all the adverts. Come on, team. Well done. Woo! Keep going. Half jack, here we go. Exactly the same if you're seating team. Well done. You choose your tempo. Remember my tempo might be too quick. You might be moving a little bit slower, that's fine. Just work to your level team, whatever works for you. Fabulous. Woo! Good. Knees nice and soft, hips open and forwards. Stay with it. Keep going, keep going. Well done. Come on, team. Okay, dumbbells. Here we go, we're starting here, press and twist down, press and twist down, so I just come a little bit closer in case you need to see my hand position, start here, elbows tucked in, lift and rotate, back down, lift and rotate, back down, exactly the same if you're seated, shoulders down and back, hips open and forwards, well done, fabulous team, keep going. Well done. So again, the same if you're seated. Stay with me. Good. Keep going. Okay, one dumbbell. Here and lift. Here and lift, no higher than the head. So that bottom part doesn't want to come up any higher really. Weight through the heels. If you are sat on your chair, just shuffle yourself to the edge. So to the front and you can do exactly the same. Woo! So you obviously won't bend, the legs will just be bent and the feet flat on the chair, if you're sat on the chair. And you just take the dumbbell through and bring it up. So a little lean forwards. Well done. So make sure you are, if you're standing, squatting down into it. It doesn't have to be a massive movement. You don't have to move as quickly as me. Okay, but weight through the heels, getting the heart rate up, working the legs, working the back, working the tummy, working the arms, full body movement here. Okay, you've got a rest. Well done. Help yourself to drink if you need one. That's your first five minutes done, team, okay? Morning, Jan Campbell. Hope you're good. Here we go. 
go to our next five minute block team. Well done. So that half squat position, just change that hand position. Well done. Keep going. Well done. Good, good. Hi, Chris and Vic. Good morning. Hope you're both well. Fantastic. Come on. Okay, into knee taps. Here we go, lift. Shoulders down and back. If you're sat on your chair, it is exactly the same again. Remember, you choose your tempo. You choose your range of motion. You may be here. You may be here. We're all at different fitness levels. Team work to your level. We obviously want to get a little bit sweaty. Get that heart rate up. Get that blood pumping. Work those muscles. Improve that bone density. But you've still got to work within your limits. So as always, you should be able to hold a conversation and have a chat at the same time. So I know I can't hear you, but you can chat back to me. So it's a good test. Well done. Keep going. Fabulous team. Okay, take those dumbbells for me. Behind, single, single, both together. So single, single, both together. Fantastic. Woo! You've got it. Keep going. Single. So if you're sat on your chair, do exactly the same. Just sit forward slightly. Single, single, both together. Exactly the same. Good. <laughs> well done. Keep going, team. Fantastic. Push back, here we go. So if you're sat on your chair, again, you just tap that foot behind in the little gap, yeah? Everyone else, if you're standing, you're here, team. Sheila's laughing. Oh, I'm glad it's a good day for me. I'm, I'm sure he's whooping as I'm going along. I know what he's like. Well done. Keep going, team. Fantastic. Stay with it. Good. Well done. Help yourself to another drink and team for me. 
And let's carry on. So we are officially, this is like second week back at school, isn't it? Lila's doing really well with her potty, well, her toilet training. I won't say potty because she doesn't really go on that, she's straight on the toilet. So we're into week two. We only had one accident yesterday, none the day before. Yesterday was an accident in temper as well, which is quite amusing. Do you want to take the coat and shoes off when we got back and tried for a wee? And then she started having a tantrum and then she did it. She did it on purpose, really. Hey ho. So we're still having no dummy either. So we're doing really well. I've just got to try and get to brush your teeth more now. It's the only other thing. Heel deep, cross those arms. Here we go. Never ever had any problems with Noah brushing his teeth, but Lila. <laughs> We sort of have to pin her down a bit and then she spits it back at the earth. However much we try, we've got to try and do it herself. It's the one thing she doesn't like. Definitely like her Auntie Becky because Auntie Becky used to not enjoy watching her teeth either. Fantastic. Well done. Keep going. So if you're sat on the chair, again, it is exactly the same team. You choose your tempo. Get those chest muscles working as well with that cross in front. Brilliant. Sheila, did you make your Welsh cakes? If so, how did you get on? I still haven't made that marmalade loaf yet. It's on my list. And you're doing a lot of other baking from the side for bicep curl as a rotation. Up and round. So I made my mum my mother in laws times two um, and grandparents. Well, like the kids' great grandparents. Afternoon tea boxes, I did big ones for my mum and mother in laws. Like a little bottle of wine in there as well. And then sandwiches and quiche and sausage rolls, pork pie salad. I obviously didn't make those. Um, I made the sandwiches obviously, but you know, didn't make the bread for that much. Keep going, then they have scones, uh, cream and jam, and then they have Welsh cakes and cup cakes, and then some other chocolates and stuff for it. They're really lovely actually. They're just in smaller boxes for great grandparents because they're either on their own and I don't know, they don't eat quite as much. So. Well done! Keep going, but they all enjoyed them. One more. Well done. Okay. Tap. Imagine there's something on the floor that you're trying to reach side to side. If you are sat on your chair, reach across. You can still reach down if you wish and tap that foot. But if you'd rather, you can just transfer across. Good. So you choose how low you go. You choose your range of motion team. Well done. Fantastic. Keep going. Good. Fabulous. Stay with me. So this next, the next exercise, you're going to need your dumbbells. We're going to walk forward and imagine that we've got some bags of shopping in our hands and we're going to place them down. So if you are sat on your chair, you're going to do exactly the same as this mark. So I want you to walk, and then I want you to bend, put them down, stand up, walk back. So hold your dumbbells and your hands down, up. Walk forward, bend, back up. You don't need to get all the way to the floor, okay? But just practicing that functional strength training. Good. So if I show you from the side, walk, down, up, nice flat back, weight through the heels, fantastic. If you are on the chair, you're going to march and then just lower those arms and back up. If you are using the chair, you can practice standing to uh, sit to stand, so stand up, sit back down if you would rather. Good. So cardio involved in this as well, but it is a functional exercise. Okay, one dumbbell, overhead, up onto the tiptoes 
for me. Again, if you're seated on the chair, exactly the same. You can still lift up onto those tiptoes. You can still take that dumbbell over here. From the side on here, notice my dumbbell lifts up, straight arms, but I don't bring it forwards, okay? So I'm just here. If you struggle with the arms, with the range of motion behind, okay, you can continue and you can do your reverse lift again, up onto the tiptoes still though. Yep, so if you struggle, take everything up and behind and go there. Well done. If you do struggle with that range of motion, you know that VW where we pull those arms down, one, one, two, is something really good to practice. Brilliant. Keep going. Stay with it. Nearly there. Well done, fabulous, fabulous, amazing. Oh, fab Sheila, fab, fab, fab. I think one of the reasons that I like cooking them so much, well, baking them so much, is that, um, yeah, obviously you have to try one as soon as they come out of the pan and because they're not that big. It's not like eating like a full on cake sometimes or cutting a slice, is it? doesn't ruin it, so you can just be like, yeah, there was only, I could only make 12 when there was like 13, or there's always that tiny little bit of mixture left. It's a bit like when I make scones. However many I make, there's always like a tiny bit that's not enough for the cutter. So I just roll it and stick it on, and then I'll get to eat that bit. So, but I love them. They last day, well, they last a good while as well, if you keep them in an airtight container. And they freeze well if you don't put the sugar over them. You know, you've got to put plenty of sugar over them after. Okay, elbows to knees, team. Exactly the same as you see, team. This is your last block of five minutes, okay? Well done. So again, you choose your tempo. If I'm going too quick, don't worry. Slow it down. Sat on the chair, exactly the same. Lorraine says me too. You love Welsh cakes. Lorraine, I know you do. So I think all of my uh, first and plastic. Only used to be Liz that didn't used to like them because she didn't like the raisins. Keep going. Well done. Fantastic. Good. Brilliant. struggle with your balance you can just practice doing your leg lift if you're seated and you don't want to stand you can just do your arms okay so if you're seated just the arms if you want to stand but want to focus more on improving your balance then hold on and do the leg lift okay if you're happy to stand and go for both please do change legs here we go well done Hips open and forwards, tummy's pulled in. Well done. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to go into some abs. So seated on your chair or on the floor, you choose, okay? Sitting on, leaning back, remember, feet or heels must stay on, back and hold. So if you are sat on the floor, it is exactly the same. Sorry, I made that look really easy to get down behind. Here, right, heels, and just a little lean back. So that's my seated position, just a little lean back. Feet if you can, heels if you haven't got the hamstring flexibility. So my hamstrings aren't particularly flexible. So I generally use my pergo on the floors. Up to the ceiling. Well done. Fantastic. Elbows nice and soft. Tummy's pulled in. Keep breathing. Fantastic. Okay then. So, practicing, safety, getting down and up. I don't want you to rush it, okay? Down, down, up, up. Use the chair if you need 
button, okay? If you are seated and you can't get down and up off the floor, you are going to practice stand to sit if you can, okay? Stand to sit. There's no rush, even if you just do two or three, that's fine. Okay, if you can, you're going to leave with the other leg now. So the other leg is going to go down first and up first. Use those hands to help you. Use the chair to help you. Good. So really functional. Keeping the legs strong. Making sure that if you get down there, you can get back up. So remember, this isn't really... Bring yourself back to it on the floor. Stay seated. Here we go, we're going to twist side to side. Good. You've got a whole minute, so don't rush. If you're not on your chair yet, don't worry. Okay, stop cursing me. <laughs> but please remember, that is functional, yes, for everyday life. But most of the time, when you choose to get down, you make sure that there's something that you can help, that can help you get back up if you need to. We're practicing that sort of stuff. Or, if unfortunately you do fall, and perhaps you're in the garden or something, and you need to manage to get yourself up um, because nobody is around to help, okay? So that sort of stuff is when it's more functional. Maybe something that you can grab to you or that. This is when the time, if you can, because you're focusing on getting down and up, practicing doing it without it possible. So without holding on to possible. That is your last step to size then to you. Well done. Fabulous. So let me know how you all feel after that. I have done because that is one of the hardest interval blocks that I do. Obviously, I've still kept it low intensity, but it's full on because it's five one minute blocks. You've only had in that whole time, like three minutes rest, okay? And now obviously we've finished. So you did the first block, had the rest, second block, had the rest, third block, had the rest, and then we've just finished, okay? So I didn't want to push it too much, but if you feel like next time you could perhaps add one more block on, let me know. Especially if I start to reduce it into doing like our exercises where it's not as cardiovascular. But hopefully, let's stretch it out. You feel like you've had a good workout still. We haven't done that boot camp, uh, the low intensity interval boot camp style one for a while, front thigh. So I wanted to um, ease you back in gently. <laughs> well done. And change other arm across, here we go. So thank you for joining me this morning. Fabulous work. And front thigh team, let's just see what your comments are. Quality control, yes Carol, of course. Carol's exhausted, heel into the bottom. Hold on if you need to. But a good level of exhausted, Carol. I haven't like, you're not gonna like, not be able to move for the rest of the day. But I just, I didn't wanna add an extra block on and then you'd be like, Gemma, I couldn't walk tomorrow just because it was just just that bit too much change size. Because again, you know that I mean it's in the loveliest way, but as we do get older, we do have to think about our training and think about, you know, we can't just like full on go at it like we used to, sit down if those toes when we were like 20, 30 years younger. I even feel like that now. <laughs> and change sides, well done. Fab, fab. But it's really effective, we've done loads. So really, stretch it over. You've done a full block of like a 20 minute intent, like low intensity uh, interval session, which is like, that's really good going. Change sides. And bring it in, one arm up, hand on the back, push or pull, release through the tricep. And change sides. And let's take it up and over. And the other side team. Hands in front, hug it out, chin to the chest, down to the floor, big breath in. Out, and give yourself, yay! 
you a massive clap. Well done. Oh, fab. Good, 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 good. I'm glad you liked it. I will do that. We'll do something different on Thursday. And then next uh, week, I'll do that again at some point, okay? Fab. Glad you all enjoyed it then. Have a lovely Tuesday. I will see you all on Thursday. May I have Lila with me on Thursday, actually, so that'll be quite nice. Okay, have a good one then, team. Um, lots of love to you all. Bye-bye.